Hey, middle school, it's Mrs. Einzelman. It is time for the last lesson. So as you know, this weekend is Mother's Day, so I want you guys to um, think about some adjectives that describe your mom. Is she funny? Is she loving? Is she patient? Is she crazy? Is she silly? Is she patient? Is she kind? Um, is she courteous? Is she generous? What are some words that describe her? And so we're going to use those words to create this abstract um, color, word, board, card, thing. So having said all that, you can make this into a card or you can just have it as a standalone piece. Um, let me show you what I mean here. I have this one, loving, patient, and funny. I can take any other, um, like some watercolor paper that I have prepared, and I can mount it on that. I could make, um, this is a shaving cream print. It's just shaving cream and food coloring, and then you put your paper on it, scrape the shaving cream off, and you have this beautiful marble pattern. So you could put, um, your little board on it like that. If you are going to make it into a card, I encourage you to have a separate sheet of paper that you fold and then put your words on top of it because um, just the paper when you write on it with the Sharpie, uh, if you were to do your words on here, when you um, open it, the Sharpie will have bled through and that'll look kind of tacky. So anyway, you know, we're all about looking professional. So um, let me show you guys how to do this. So you are going to come up with your words. Please, 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 please. If you have any questions about the spelling of your word, dictionary.com or a parent, um, are great resources. You don't want to have misspelled words on your mom's card here. So you're going to choose your words. Choose your words wisely. So I'm going to use this little one and I'm going to need a Sharpie. And then the color is actually not watercolors. It's just markers that you activate with water. So the first thing you do with your Sharpie is you are going to outline the perimeter of your paper. This is just going to give you uh, a nice edge for a starting and a stopping point. After you have your paper outlined, take your fingers, make a piece, and you're going to lay it on there and you're basically going to divide your paper into thirds, top, middle, and bottom. And think about you're going to divide this space into three sections. Your lines are going to be kind of curvy and wavy. So you're just going to go across a little whoop-de-woo. Maybe that one goes down and up. So no right or wrong way. Now you have three sections. Now you have your three sections. You're going to have your three words that you've brainstormed about your mom. Um, if we were talking about well, we could talk about me, haha, ha, um, if Remy was making this. But um, anyway, let's talk about my mom, Grammy, we call her. So if we were going to make this card for Grammy, I would say Grammy is very generous. She loves to send gifts. She is very generous. When I am writing my letters, I'm writing all uppercase. I am going from the very top of the paper to the very bottom, or top of the line to the very bottom. Notice all my letters are resting on the bottom line and they're touching the top line. So what's another thing Grammy is? Grammy is a wonderful cook. Hmm. Let's see, I don't know how I could say that in an adjective. Let's see. She likes to make things. We could say she's crafty. So again, I'm going all the way from the top to the bottom. 
my letters are kind of exaggerated and as that line curves so do my letters she's crafty she is also loving so all the way to the top all the way to the bottom and it's going to give my letters an interesting i think i'm going to g come down a little bit it's going to give my letters some interesting looks now you can choose your own palette whatever you'd like to do notice on this one i got real rainbowy starting with my red orange yellow green blue violet here i did cool colors warm colors cool colors so you can choose however you would like your colors to go you're basically this is what i tell the little kids you're going to give your letter a hug so your marker is going to go on one side of your pen and then it's going to go on the other side of your sharpie i should say not your pen sharpie so that basically you are going around both sides of the letter okay so i think i might just do like a every other on this one make sure i have color on both sides okay and here's my u okay now how about a little maybe some yellow to brighten it up i want color on both sides of the black sharpie line and finally my s okay so now i have my uh, you'll want to do color on all your letters, but you don't want to sit and watch me color all these letters. So I'm just going to show you on this one and I will trust that you can take it from there. You're just going to get a little cup of water and a small paintbrush. And you're basically pulling the paint ink. Let's see. I'll turn this light on a little bit. If that helps any. You're basically pulling the you're activating the ink in the marker and it spreads it out much like a watercolor paint you don't need a ton of paint i mean excuse me you don't need a ton of water it's just going to cause the watercolor or the uh gosh i can't talk it's just going to cause the marker to bleed okay and it creates that really nice kind of tie-dye effect and where your colors overlap you'll get a little color mixing going on so you'll get kind of a fun peachy going on here between the pink and the yellow okay so you'll do that with all your words when you are finished again you can mount it um, on a card so here would be um, your word board and you could mount it on this card I would just use uh, a glue stick to hold that down and then you can write some sweet notes in here to your mom uh, telling her how much you love her and appreciate her you could also put your word board in um, a frame make a nice background paper to mount it on this one again is a, a marbled a shaving cream marbled paper you could also attach it to a bigger piece um, like a watercolor paper or uh, other kind of painting or just another background uh, and that would be nice too so or you could just do this on a really nice heavy duty like a a watercolor paper or a heavy-duty Bristol paper and then it would be its own piece um, without having to have a background anyway that is what you guys are going to work on this week for your last lesson so I'd like to see these by Friday everybody needs to do one of these it's a sweet um, token for your mom Make sure that you um, 
Get yours in by Friday. Also, if you have any other outstanding work, you need that in um, by the weekend. Um, I've got to get all the grades in the grade book, and there are quite a few people who have quite a few things still missing. So I hope that you will really put some time and energy into thinking about uh, the three words that describe your mom, three attributes of hers um, that make her the great loving mom that she is. Anyway, that's all I have. So I look forward to seeing your word boards. Have a great week. Bye.